Hey everybody, Rodman here. Thanks for tuning in to the very first episode of a new series of Kenshi called Birth of a Hive. Episode 1, The Stateless Queen. Rules of this series, I can only recruit other hivers or animals, I can't have more than 10 combat characters, and I cannot craft my own weapons or crossbows. The goals of the series are to eliminate all of the slavers, to acquire two pairs, or a pair of each animals, a male-female pair, and to destroy the other hives. We start off on the rock bottom start, which means we are penniless and without a left arm. Right away, I'm going to head towards Heft. Now, I am, of course, you see the dead hive queen. The lore, some of the, there's a few different lore as to why the fog, the hiver fog, are the hiver fog. Um, some of the theories, I don't know if it's, confirmed or not, is that when the queen dies or leaves, her pheromones are sort of a required drug, uh, a luciferium of the hivers. And without said pheromones, it drives the hivers mad. So without the queen to be near the fog islands, all of the foggers have gone crazy. What I'm going to attempt to do is to start my own hive, a new hive. Um, obviously I'm down on my luck, I don't have any hivers here. Uh, the thing I'm going to try to do is to have a whole lot of non-combat hive to sort of mimic the way a hive will work, but only to have a very limited amount of hivers. Uh, the first thing I want to do here is to start to name squads and the like. So, let's go ahead and name this the Queen Guard. And my faction is the Dead Hive. Maybe I'll change this around, but I like that for a name. Now I'm heading into Heft here. Heft has a really small robotics um, shop that I might be able to earn my way into getting a new limb. That's the hope here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is to hang out around Heft and try to profit off of combat and death. Uh, so as you can see off in the horizon here, there are factions that are fighting. Anytime I see a faction fight, I'll go over and scour the dead. There seems to be plenty of them. They were uh, bone dogs and rebel farmers that got annihilated by the United City Guard. All right. Well, their loss is my profit. And they have... Horse chop. Oh, I got caught stealing by an unconscious person. For real. Who is. Are you playing dead? Um, fine. I won't loot you. You're being annoying. Now, there's some penalties, of course, to being a hiver. Uh, one of the most obvious ones, I can't wear a whole lot of clothing in every slot. Um, so shirts, for instance, are not something I'll be able to equip. And no boots either. Not that that's that much of a problem. Uh, let's see. The horse shoppers sell for about 110 yeah, it might be worth having a horse chopper over some staves. The heart protector is going to be nice, though. That will sell for a pretty penny. And let's start grabbing their meds. Uh, this one has a crossbow. This sells for 180 That's going to be more than these pants. And I'm just sort of... i got to make a buck somewhere, you know? Uh, I don't feel great about looting these uh, poor farmers. But you know what? They're not hivers. So I'm not required to care about them. I would probably not loot other hive. I would treat them, as long as they were stateless hives, the hiveless hives, uh, hivers, uh, I wouldn't go aggressive against them. But uh, if they're not stateless, I don't really care. So let's go ahead and this farmer, this outlaw swordsman is uh, trying to catch me stealing. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pick you up. Oh, yeah, I can't pick anyone up. Um, they're playing dead. 
I could just probably wait for them to lose consciousness, but I might not want to be standing. Well, I don't have any bounties on me. I can wait you out. Your stuff will be mine. <laughs> it's pretty dark to just be standing over an unconscious body waiting for them to, uh, you know what, maybe I can just steal it. I don't know if you can really steal from someone playing dead though. They're not really sleeping. But this at least levels up my um, stealth skill while they're alive. Because I'm hiding from them. Okay, there is a skimmer here, so I might want to skedaddle and come back for it later. Uh, the issue, of course, is I'm going to need to ditch some weight in order to outrun the skimmer. So... Okay, 16 is now my speed, and they move at 16. Let's get gone. I'll sell what I have and then go back for more. And this will earn me my arm. I'll probably get some sort of lame economy arm, but two arms are better than one. Okay. Hello, barkeep. Here is some lovely stuff to sell. And that makes me my first 400 or 800 coin. Cats, it's called. Now, if you're entirely new to Kenshi, I will try to explain what I'm doing. Uh, but my last series is sort of me figuring out Kenshi for the first time through. Uh, whereas this time around, I sort of do know what I'm doing. Alright, so before this skimmer gets back up, because it's probably just unconscious, let's go ahead and uh, loot it. And let's go over to the weapons I had to discard because of the imminent threat of being jumped by a skimmer. This stubborn caravan guard that didn't want to give up his stuff is still unconscious? Oh, no. He's playing dead. Uh, well, I'll wait you out. I do have some other slots here. I've got um, head slot free and pants slot free. Um... Let's see, I can fit some... Nope, I can't fit any of that. Fit the stabs. And I'm going to build myself uh, a campfire to cook the skimmer meat. Because dried meat is going to be worth more than raw meat. Queen's Guard does not look like I have a lot of members. I'll leave the campfire there. Once I leave the area, I'll break it down. I don't want to be littering my stuff everywhere. Now that that poor outlaw swordsman with limb trauma, I can relate, given that I only have a right arm. Let's go take a look at the robotics to see what the cheapest arm option is. Alright, so we're looking for lefts. So this shoddy left I can buy at 4k. The economy left I can buy at 1.5k. I could probably get that maybe now? Yep, I could buy that now if I really felt like it. Uh, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy this uh, economy left arm and then work my way up to something better. So here's what it looks like. It's basically a twig that's attached to my arm. Like a little claw, arcade game claw. It will allow me to pick people up though. Um, which has its own advantages. Alright, so we're back at the skimmer. We're kind of looking to skim ourselves some loot. Anything of value here, I will take. Um, Mr. I don't want you to take my armor is probably dead by... Oh, actually, seems like he got up. 
Maybe he was uh, enslaved by the slavers or something? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but that does mean that uh, that armor that he had on him, or her, I'm not sure what their genders were, uh, is gone to me. So let's just go the loot the, the rest of what we can here and uh, head on over to town. Turn it on. Now another big purchase I'm going to need to make sooner or later is a repair kit. I am, after all, um, still part skeleton. So the queens are kind of weird, where they are a hybrid of skeleton and organic, um, which is pretty unique compared to everything else. Which means that I will eat, but will also have to repair, which is um, strange. So the next thing I want to buy, now that I have an arm, is probably the authentic skeleton repair kit, uh, unless I can steal it when that shop closes. Now, my last series, I didn't uh, end up stealing very much, but I might end up relying a little bit more heavily on stealing. The penalties of this limb, let's see. Uh, my dexterity goes down. No surprise there. So if I look at my stats here, I have a racial penalty to dexterity, and I'm going to have lower dexterity anyway. Uh, does that matter? Maybe not. I did just get a um, skimmer spawn next to me. I definitely don't want to be jumped by it. Now one um, sort of reliable way to make money early on is do some mining. It's also a pretty good way to strength train. But uh, I don't want to just mine away forever. I like the dangerous looting of... Um, dead things. Alright, so this skimmer is dying. Means it has loot. Don't mind if I do. The gate guards don't clean up their own corpses, so I will happily do it for them. Uh, more skimmers are fighting on the horizon, so let me get this stuff sold, except for the raw meat. I'll cook the raw meat for the extra profit. Um, the guards here aren't going to really spend a lot of money uh, eating or buy purchasing foul meat. They just, uh, there's not so much a market for that, so I'll sell it, but they're not going to buy much of it. One gold each or whatever, but hey, when you're as poor as I am, one gold could be the difference of, honestly, I'm not sure what. Alright, so this skimmer is absolutely cutting through these outlaws. Um, the problem is, if I get too close to these uh, uh, surviving outlaws, the skimmer might... Yep. Skimmer is trying to eat me now. It's moving at 14, so I'm outrunning it. I'm trying to circle back around and loot the rest of the skimmer. So the uh, animal claws are worth more than anything else. And then the animal claws do weigh me down. So if I get jumped by a skimmer, I will have to dump them. So let's not allow that to happen, shall we? Alright, popping into the same bar and this bartender's probably like, what is with you? Why do you keep selling me weird stuff? Okay, so we are up to two grand. I hope that, uh, is that a shinobi thief? No, a bounty hunter. I hope they didn't get pissed that I looted his kill. So it did have a campfire out here. Who got taken out over here? Manhunters? Oh, they're patching each other up. So, there'll be nothing to loot there. I'm not even sure where my original campfire is, so what I'll do is I'll start a new one. And cook up the food that I've got. So, go into camping, put a campfire down, and I'm just going to put it as close to the entrance of the town as possible. So, anytime I have raw meat, I can go ahead and cook it.
And I've... Oh, what are we... Ditching resources? I'm sort of curious as to what that means when I don't own anything else. Now, strangely enough, the Hive Queen will eat dried meat. And all sorts of meat. I know I'm a robot, but I'm a very bad robot. Alright, out we go. Back into the bar. And I can now afford the um, cheapest skeletal repair kits. But ideally, I would want one a little bit nicer than the cheap ones. Or, rather, uh, something else to buy. I could also try to buy slaves out of slavery. Buy some hiver slaves if there's any hiver slaves to be had. Having a numbers advantage is kind of nice really early on. So maybe that will be my first purchase, is to try to purchase the freedom of slavery. Now, the thing about slavery in this game, uh, when you free slaves, they don't necessarily join you. There's a chance that they can, but they don't. it's not promised in any way. Alright, this skimmer is floating in a weird way that I... Oh, there we go. Now I can loot it. I am basically on dead skimmer patrol. I think what I'm going to do is stop taking the foul meat as it is uh, not really worth taking. And just loot the wealthier parts of the skimmer. A little bit more cooking to do. So yeah, I would say my first goal is to get at least a few different hivers um, so that I have a group that can be more effective than a queen that is solo. Which actually runs somewhat dangerous uh, being solo like this. Um, if I get knocked unconscious, there's no one to heal me. Um, you know. It, it could be a one-way trip to a very short series, and I'd prefer not for that to happen. I'm going to leave this campfire here. I'm probably going to use it at least a few more times. All right, this shopkeeper still has plenty of money. I'm not even close to risking to exhaust his supply. All right, we're up to four grand. Taking a look at this little city, I'm curious if they do have any slave trade. They have clothing. They're a faction throne. That's a residence. This is Shinobi Thieves. Oh yeah, they do have a slave shop. Let me poke my head into there and to see if any of the slaves that are currently interned are hivers. Nope, not a single one. Just a bunch of humans in a shack. Alright. I don't know how common it is to find hivers. So I don't usually buy slaves, but I'll certainly keep my eye open. Alright, so what I'm doing now is just attacking unprovoked. Basically shouting insect slurs at the insects here. And then getting the gate guards to uh, take care of them for me. Exploiting the gate guards? Oh, absolutely. But do I have any problems with it? Not really. Now one of the big questions I might have for myself in this series is, am I going to allow literal theft or not? I don't think I will. Uh, hivers aren't really known to be that sort of stealthy stealing types. Um, and I think it adds like a nice challenge if I don't end up stealing stuff. Uh, at least not from stores and whatnot. From dead bodies, that's a whole different matter. Dead bodies don't need loot, but... But, yeah, I think thieving from stores might be uh, another rule that I add. However, if you have feedback about it, uh, you can always drop me a line and let me know. The most of the rules here are probably somewhat set in stone, but not not impossible to change if there's strong public opinion about it one way or another. So, if you do have feedback uh, for the scenario rules in any way, especially if you're a patron of mine, um, drop me a line. 
and I'll see what I can do. All right, pissing off some more skimmers. At this point, being able to move at 18 miles per hour, um, I probably can piss off any skimmer I want as long as I'm careful about not allowing it to uh, get too close to me. Uh, I won't be able to outrun me. I'm trying to drag this skimmer back to the guards, but it is being very annoying to deal with. Look at all the rest. Oh, there they go. I was going to say, look at all the rest of these manhunters. The moment they got engaged on, um, the group ran. I think these manhunters are going to lose. I wouldn't mind that. Whoa, but I don't want to stick around to become one of them. I say I won't, wouldn't mind that because manhunters have some loot. Oh, are you playing dead? No, one of these manhunters is a hiver. Uh, that's interesting. A twist, to be sure. Okay, I have a lot of the manhunter stuff. It is a soldier drone, manhunter. It's not like I can just get any old hiver to join me. That's just not really how the game works. Um, but I might treat... Uh, hivers that I ex uh, I see out in the world as um, I might treat them a little bit better than I would otherwise. Oh, here are a bunch of starving vagrants. So my disguise is blown. I dressed up like a manhunter real quick, uh, basically, so I could grab their stuff and and blowing my disguise. Uh, they I don't convince anyone that I am in fact a manhunter. Now I'm not exactly sure why I'm bothering to loot these vagrants as their weapons and armor are basically worth nothing. Uh, as you can see it's a uh, cents on the dollar. Although the black rag shirts are going to be kind of nice because they allow me to oh and the sh armored rag skirts are not so terrible either. Uh, be able to allow me to stealth a little bit better. So the skirts have a martial arts bonus as well. Alright, we're up to 8 grand. I'm getting pretty close to being able to actually own some pretty nice prosthetics, possibly. Here's the manhunter. Oh, what are you holding? Oh, that's one of my naked manhunters. They're saying that I look like an escaped slave. They're calling me an escaped slave. Now, of course, this is not true. But the whole, he said, she said, my word against theirs. Um, yep, they're going to try to pummel me. They don't really care. How about you get, oh yeah, karma. Thank you, scammer, for being an agent of karma. Of course, I have no respect for skimmers either. Uh, so how are you doing? You're unconscious? Yeah, look who's laughing now. I am not an escape slave. Now, I think they might have been calling me a escape slave because I was dressed up like one of them. Wearing their uniform. I'm not entirely sure about that. Could have just been a weird coincidence or something, but, um... Either way, I'm happy to be wearing his stuff. There seems to be a sh no shortage of combat and caravans around here. So I have to decide, I'm probably going to get rid of the, um, I'll keep the black rag shirt because of the skill of, um, stealth, but ditching everything else. Taking a quick look at the robotics place, we'll see if there's any, um, new robotics that I might be able to afford. Let's see. So I have a left arm missing. This is a skeletal left arm, which provides some benefits. But if I was to upgrade my arm, it probably wouldn't be to another skeletal arm. Uh, what I am going to do, which is very expensive, is to buy one of these skeletal repair kits. Uh, I am still part skeleton. I'm part organic and part 
robotic. Um, so I'm going to have to repair with uh, skeletal repair kits. Uh, I think at next daybreak, there might be a new slave offering. Oh, here is a very easy way to find my old campfire. And then I also have to decide where I want to settle in. I think settling in where the fog are is a bad idea, and where the southern and western hives are is a bad idea, I should probably form my own area either east or north. So if you have feedback for me, whether I should go east or north, you should let me know. Come on, I'm, I'm trying to attack you unprovoked. Come turn around. My speed is 17, yours is 14, so I can outrun you. I just can't let you get too close. I don't even have a weapon to attack unprovoked. Oh, there we go. Nope. They really aren't fooled very long, are they? So I might have exhausted the amount of resources I can acquire from hanging around heft here. I might want to push on either to some friendlier zones or zones where I have a better chance at recruiting slaves or other hivers. Now I think because I don't want the story to be about beep and green, I might avoid some um, preset characters. Let's see, I could go to Stoat. Let's start running to Stoat. I've got my repair kit and I've got my economy arm. And I have a bunch of not so friendlies on my tail here. Why am I think because the dust storm I am encumbered? I'm curious why these guys are catching up to me. What is slowing me down? I think the sandstorm. I don't want these uh, outlaw farmers to catch me because. Or outlaw swordsmen. So of course, I'm not exactly capable of combat yet. And as you can see, they're kind of overtaking me. Oh, juked. Juked. But as soon as they... Oh, no, they backed off. As soon as they try to take a swing, I outrun them. Alright, let's try seeing what's up at this caravan. They don't have anything that interests me. I wouldn't mind some dust storm protection. So I think that that's what's slowing me down. But I'm not certain. Because it says that it affects my accuracy in combat, but it might do more than that. Hidden other effects. Or, you know what it could be, actually? I'm probably quite hungry, I just can't know it, because I'm part robotic. That's almost certainly what's got me um, slowed, is a hidden hunger level. Um, I could try to find a mod that fixes it so that um, either I don't get hungry, but more ideally that I see my own food bar. Because I'm f almost certain I'm currently malnourished, which is causing the, the, the run speed decrease. Um, but my hunger bar, due to the fact that I'm got a big old robotic belly. How does the robotic belly look with this shirt anyway? Oh, that is really weird. There's all sorts of strange clipping going on. I'll just have to wear bigger, bulkier armor, won't I? Okay, so the slave shop is currently closed, but I also want a bar. I want to eat. I'm hungry. Where is your bar? Oh, here's your food shop. Talk to the baker. Hmm. Now, 
I'm pretty sure... Well, in the lore, um, hivers eat cactuses, but I think they really eat just chew sticks, not cactuses. So I just ate the chew sticks, and yes. So I just saw that I'm malnourished. When I go inside, I see that I have that malnourished uh, debuff. So that's what's going on. I'm malnourished, I just couldn't really see it very effectively. Uh, the slave trade has opened up. Let's see if there's any... Oh yeah, there is Eric here, who is uh, purchasable. And that's it. So let's try to buy Eric. And once I wander far enough away from the city, uh, there'll be a roll to see if they join me or not. Uh, so where I am right now, I'm sort of curious if there's a robotics shop. But I guess it wouldn't matter that much to me. So I can always find one. There's certainly a farm shop. Alright, let's see if Eric here has decided to join me or not. It'd be very cool, personally, if I, um... Built up my entire hive from rescuing slaves. Kind of like a... You have to find your family? Alright, that's understandable. I did spend a thousand on you, but... Um... I get it. Not all hivers want to follow a queen with no followers. I feel a bit like Khaleesi in the, uh... In the Game of Thrones here. It's hard to, hard to start a uh, an empire from nothing. Uh, but I wouldn't be doing this if it was easy. So we have a bunch of uh, starving vagrants that um, got knocked out. Some of them have weapons, some do not. Uh, I don't really care what they have, I just care that it can be sold. So, I am still hungry. I wouldn't mind buying a little bit more food or uh, killing for it or something. Alright, back up to four grand. <laughs> These poor vagrants. They're being pretty much persecuted because they're impoverished, as far as I could tell. Now, unlike uh, the last city I was at, there doesn't seem to be as many skimmers, which means it's a little bit safer for me, but also uh, I'm getting a little bit more hungry. I think I'm going to pop into a bar for some dried meat or buy some more chew sticks. Maybe I'll go back to that baker. I'll buy some, buy some chew sticks. So soon I won't be malnourished, and I'll be able to move around at higher speeds again. Um, let's see. There are some sort of uh, larger slave markets, but they're really not labeled on my map yet. I could try to buy some maps. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. Uh, so let me pop in here, pop in some of these stores, and, and see if there's any maps for sale so I know where I'm going. Uh, this one, of course, does not have maps. Um, another thing I'm curious about is, will I actually eat foul meat or not? I know most hivers do, but I don't know about the queen. It's part of a mod, and I might not be able to. Um, usually the general goods, sometimes the bars sell maps. Let's see. Hello, barman. You have a bunch of wanted posters, but... Not so much maps. Okay. It's generally like the backpack good salesman people that have the maps. But I might not see one of those. Let's try general shop. No, well they got a hiver employed here. Oh, two of them in fact. No, just one of them. Sorry. That lady looked like a hiver from the back. <laughs> Don't let her know I said that. Um... Oh, hum. No maps. No maps at all. Alright, one last check. I don't think they have refreshed their slave offerings, but that doesn't mean I won't check. 
right before I leave. Oh, some of the starving vagrants we found outside just got, uh, captured. And they're probably, yep, there they go. Sad as it is, there goes more. Okay, let's start to head south. It's not necessarily all that safe. But, uh, hanging around here doesn't seem to be yielding us opportunities or profit or anything like that. Although I did watch a skimmer just stomp something over here. Maybe a bone dog? Yeah, a bone dog. Good. I can eat bone dog. So now I'm back up to 20 miles an hour because I'm no longer malnourished or whatever. Which means these skimmers, when they pick a fight with me, will have a hard time catching as I'm almost a third faster than them. And my um, run rate is only going to increase from here, being hiver and all. At about, I would say, 20 to 22 miles an hour, you can pretty much outrun any danger. Most danger you can leave in the dust. Oh, whoa, look at this. Caravan of all hivers. Okay, so despite the fact that I'm hiveless, they'll still sort of trade with me. I don't know if that's because um, of the mod or the fact that they're just a caravan and don't have the same... Oh, are they... No, no, they're trying to sell to me. For a second I thought they were trying... Oh, these guys are trying to attack me. I don't really mind if I do a big circle around here and profit off of whoever wins this fight. Some of these stupid outlaw farmers are definitely getting their butts kicked. That's what you get. Um, this gives perception bonus. So now I actually have a weapon. What is going on here? Well, they swarmed him pretty good. And I'll just start looting them up. No respect for the fallen. If they have good weapons, count me in. Uh, Heart Stopper is definitely worth more than my rag shirt. And I'm not really using a whole lot of stealth, so I will switch up. And here's another outlaw. Uh, let's see. I don't believe there's a way for me to make space for this. Unless I ditch something. So this is worth one. No, it's not really worth me ditching anything for that. It's worth less than everything else that I have. Okay. What I could use is a backpack for sure. But I don't think anyone that's... Uh, oh, here's another heart protector. Um, hmm. I might be able to just sell to this caravan. Yeah, that that should be what I do. Stand here, profit off of the... Ooh, tin can helmet, huh? Profit off the people that have dropped and... Um, sell their junk. pretty fortuitous, I gotta say. I'm in the right place at the right time. So there's a bunch of city heroes here as well. Ooh, I'm gonna probably keep that ninja mask. That protects me a little bit from the uh, storms. Uh, the city heroes are, I believe, like a pseudo-xenophobic group. Um... Which is why I have no qualms about looting them, and why they're fighting a caravan guard. So, happily, I will 
make all these uh, heroes, quote unquote, naked. And this makes me a pretty penny. Caravan, don't leave. You wanted to trade. Here I am. Trading my heart out. Making some pretty good money, too. Not like having a, a giant city economy of crafting stuff money, but uh, money nonetheless. Although I'm not allowed to make uh, weapons, so that won't be on the menu. Uh, here's another ninja mask. Same quality, though. So I don't need to switch to it. As long as I can run fast enough to reach the caravan guard before they're, like, out of reachable distance, uh, I'll just keep doing this, this run here. Because I've made real good money real quick. What an Adachi. Look at you, Mr. City Hero, with your slick uh, equipment. Oh, good. And the heroes getting back up have called back... Actually, what is this group? Oh, this is not the caravan I was trading with. These are just, uh... United City Samurai. Now, I might keep this Nodachi. I'm probably not going to get another opportunity for, uh... Weapons for, for a while. And this was stolen off the hero boss too, so maybe I'll keep that as well. Let's take a look at my queen. I look pretty strange. I don't think the armor was ever really designed to be put on a queen. Um, but with my corpse looting, uh, that is about all the time I have for this episode, guys. So, as I asked before, if you have any tips, tricks, feedback for me in Kenshi, this series specifically, drop me a line. If you have any ideas for additional rules or goals or really any input at all, uh, maybe even mods as long as it doesn't change core gameplay too much, let me know. And I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you tune in next time. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Adios.